position because you could hurt your hand on the elbow, but mm. not when you land clean on the chin like Joe Smith just did on Jafard. Because we've seen Joe Smith Jr. close the show late. Mm. And here he comes with that onslaught. Some of those shots get around clean. A lot of them end up catching in the glove. The body Ooh, language is going to get through. Here in round number seven, looking to set up those shots. First mm. a left hook, then a double right uppercut. Now it's a left one. Ooh, set up that nice right uppercut. uppercut. But Jafar, you can't win if you don't fight. This is about over right now. Jafar in the corner, he already checked out. Trust me. And he's going down. And he ready may to go. not get up. The fight is over. The corner has decided that the fight is over. He probably wouldn't have got up at the count of 10 anyway, but it's a technical knockout victory in the ninth round for Joe Smith Jr., who successfully defends his title for the first time as a professional. That belt goes back to Long Island, New York, with the common man, Joe Smith Jr. Champ, your first title defense what did you learn about yourself and your opponent? Hey, my opponent, Steve, thank you for making it here. And you put on a great show for all the fans watching. You know, he, uh, he really brought it today. It was a great fight. You, as you can see, he's a great boxer and survivor. And, um, you know, I took my time, figured him out. I was trying to get him out of there early. But I, I realized he was very tough, and I wasn't going to be able to do that. So I tried to wait till the later rounds to really – you know, start throwing more combinations to pick him apart. Were you surprised he was able to stand through the fourth, the fifth, the sixth? Yeah, I know the furthest he's been is uh, eight, nine rounds, so I wanted to keep the pressure on him and take him out in the later rounds. We know that you and you are talking about a unification with Better Biev. We're talking about the garden, late spring, early summer. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. I want to get back in the gym, work on my craft, and uh, like I said, each and every time I get in the ring, I'm going to get better and better, and um, I believe the next time you see me, I'll be ready for anybody. Would you take a detour to pick up a lottery ticket with Canelo? Hey, if Canelo wants to come to 175 and fight me, I'm ready for him, man. That's the fight I want. You know, everybody would love to see that fight. It would, uh, it would be a big deal. You said yesterday in the fighter meetings that if you had Better Bia and they make that fight next, then when you beat Better Bia, so you say, you, you wouldn't take Canelo after that. You'd want to go and clean everything up with Bivol. Is that right? Yes. If I got uh, Better Bia next and beat him, I want, Bitter, I want Bivol next and unify the, all the belts, become the unified champ, and then uh, take out the pound for pound king. The, the Bivol fight really bugs you, doesn't it? I mean, you think you're a much better fighter now than you were when you faced him several years ago? Yes, I, I believe I'm a much better fighter, and I believe everyone at home can see that. And uh, I know next time I get him in here, I'll be the man with my hands up and uh, all the belts around me. Way to go, champ. Are you happy with your performance tonight? What was that? Sorry. Are you happy with your performance tonight? Uh, yeah, I would have liked to be a little, stay a little more sharper at points and a little more busy with my punches, but um, hey, I got the job done. Yes, you did. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bernardo, back to you.